The Toa Nuva and Brotherhood of Makuta are locked in battle in the swamps of Karta Nui. With the battle in the skies ended for now, both sides have been reinforced by their Fantoka allies. What started out as a single battle has now spread across the swamp. The object of the battle? The mysterious structure called the Codrex, and the secrets it holds. The battle has not gone well for everyone. Gali, felled by a treacherous attack by Makuta Krika, is carried deeper into the swamp. Why have you brought me here? Why not just kill me? I am doing something a Makuta never does. I'm offering mercy. Flee, Gali. Leave this place. Go anywhere in this universe, but do not stay in Kardanui. Why do you want me gone? Or do you just want one less Toa Nuva in Kardanui? You would have made a good Makuta, Gali. You're far too clever to be a Toa. I'll tell you this. You Toa Nuva are here to awaken the Great Spirit, Matanui. A mission that requires all six of you. I tell you that if you do that, you and everything you know will be doomed to a future more horrible than you can imagine. Leave now, and that future cannot come to pass. What? Get away from her, monster! Takanuva? Is that really you? Your armor... Your mask. What happened to you? I'll explain later. For right now, we need to find the others. If I'm right, everyone in the swamp has only hours to live. Later, the Toa Nuva, Taka Nuva, and Toa Ignaika assemble to hear the Toa of Light's news. Say that again? When Matanui is awakened, an energy storm is going to erupt here, and nothing will survive. If we don't get ourselves and the Matoran out in time! We have the six keystones we need to get into the Kodrax. So we hit the Makuta hard, do what we have to do to get inside, and then get out. For Matanui! Toa Liwa and Toa Gali combine their elemental powers to create a massive thunderstorm. While Takanuva, Toa of Light, adds his own unique power to the battle. But the Makuta fight back using their Nainra Ghost Blasters and their own dark powers. Ugh. A sonic attack knocks Onua Nuva from the sky. Got you. Gali, leave me. Keep heading for the cold traps. Those were Tahu's orders. Sorry, brother. I can't hear you over all this wind. What do you think is in this cold tracks, anyway? Weapons? Ancient carvings? Treasure? What do you think, Kopaka? If it's some device with power to keep you quiet, brother, it will be well worth all this effort. Ah, toe of snow and slush. I'd almost never forgotten how much fun you are. No words of ours can capture the enormity of this battle, so we won't even try. Spotting an opening in the battle, Tahu rushes to fit the keystones into the Codrex. This should open the way. Protective field down, the Toa rush through a portal and into the Codrex. I retrieved the keystones. The field is back up. So we have until the Makuta find a way to knock it down. Amazing. I feel like I have seen this place before. But when? Those suppressions on the floor. They look like something rested there at one time. Look at their size and shape. Perfect for holding the canisters we arrived at Matanui in so long ago. I believe this may have been where we spent the millennia before our journey there. Some things look familiar. Some do not. This, for example. I wonder what it- Well, I guess we now know what it does. Look! Oh, my. How far down does this go? I would never have imagined. Another day, another plunge underground. I'm starting to think that the Great Spirit likes Anua best. The Toa never detected my presence, but I can still follow them by their voices. And although my sight is lost, I can still sense power below. Fast power. Quick dropping floors, quick rising light stones. What's next? Whoa! When will I learn not to ask? Now what will come out of this? A new mask of power? Smooth tooth claw creature? A Matoran marching band? Now come out wherever or whatever you are. Axelora T9. Okay, I know I haven't been here before. I would have remembered you. This one's Rocco T3. 
What do you think they're for? Escape? Maybe if things go real wrong? If things go real wrong, there won't be anywhere to escape to. We'd better- Too slow, Toa! Why must you crawl towards your own destruction when you can fly into its grasp? Yes, I can see you through the eyes of the ship, and it's now charged with a power older than the stars themselves! I don't know what these high flyers are for, but I know they aren't for Makuta. Let's get him! Way ahead of you, brother. As always. Antroz and Toa find themselves in a nightmarish maze of twisting tunnels, far more vast than they imagined even a part of the Codrex could be. One side, Toa Hero, for someone who knows how to fly and fight! Not good enough. I am truly one with this ship. If I catch up to you, one is going to be not. Power of this vehicle is amazing. With such as these in the hands of the Brotherhood, our plans must succeed. We have a smart plan of our own, Makuta. It involves a crash, a boom, and lots of screen. Yeah, that's the makings of a great plan. Maybe a little stone power can make this a more interesting flight. Two can play at this, Toa. <laughs> You play with pebbles, Toa, while your universe falls. Everybody's gonna have a hobby. And how is being slow and stupid working out for you? Now my hobby is quite unique. I collect broken Toa. Your fast flight ends here, Antroz. Only one of us will survive this fight. Then come, Toa. Come to your death.